Okay, here's some high protein studies. These people ate uh, 3.4 grams per kilo, 1.5 grams per pound. That's around 250 grams of protein a day, 39% of calories. There are some doctors who say you can't even live with protein at 39% of calories. It's totally wrong. What happens? You're ripped and jacked. You have the highest lean mass. <laughs> Lowest fat mass, lowest body fat percent, all your labs are awesome. Here's another study, again, 3.3 grams per kilo, 1.5 grams per pound, 250 grams a day. Again, 39% of calories. They tracked everyone's labs before, during, and after. It was a one-year crossover. Everybody's labs were great, and this was totally awesome. They had body composition improvements. Imagine that. Here's some crazy Korean bodybuilders who ate over 400 grams of protein a day, 4.3 grams per kilo. They tracked all their labs, everything was perfect, their blood sugar was normal, they had insulin level of two, which is pretty awesome. Um, okay, here's a protein overfeeding study. They took these healthy people and just dumped protein on them until they got up to 45% of their calories. And no, they did not die with protein at 45% of their calories and 4.4 grams per kilo. Instead, What's really interesting is they looked at their diet before, looked at their weight and their body composition before, dumped what ended up being 800 calories of extra protein on top of their diet, and their fat mass went down. That's right, 800 extra calories and their fat mass went down. Does that invalidate calories in, calories out? No, it doesn't because their lean mass went up and their energy expenditure went up, but their fat mass went down. So what the... What that does to calories is make them basically stupid and pointless when you're talking about protein. 